Hello friends, a very good morning from Chayatal. This is the second leg of our journey. The first one was at uh, Dentum, which you must have watched by now. If you have not, then check the link in the description. And this is again another hamlet in West Sikkim. And it is such a wonderful and quiet place. We had wonderful uh, birding opportunities on the rhododendron trees over the last couple of days. And Kanchenjunga could be seen because of absolutely clear weather. As I speak, we can still see Kanchenjunga at the backdrop. And we also uh, explored some local sightseeing opportunities. And then we went into the rhododendron Barse sanctuary also. We took around 2-3 kilometers walk. And then we are also staying in a nice homestay, uh, which is known as the Chayatal Heritage Homestay. So let's not waste any time and let's get straight into the video. Well, uh, this place is only 14 kilometers ahead of Dentum. If you have seen my previous video on Dentum, you will already know how to reach this place. Still, in a nutshell, let me brief you on how to reach here. From Siliguri, you can hire direct cabs charging around 4,500 rupees. Uh, this fare was on uh, March 2021. Or you may take buses flying to Jorthang from Sikkim National Transport Bus Stand in Shiliguri. Now from Jorthang taxi stand, you need to change over to any car traveling towards Pelling. Chayatal falls on the way and is about 40 km from here. Direct bus or shared cars to Pelling is also available from SNT bus stand at Shiliguri. Now, this homestay, named as Chayatal Heritage Homestay, is one of the best maintained properties I've ever seen. It is actually the property of the current owner's grandfather, who used to stay here. Bistaji had a, done a spectacular work in preserving the cultural aspects of this old dwelling. You will find a lot of traditional machines on the ground floor of this homestay, the main building. Jumbo. He was just on all the time with full energy. We spent most of our time in the homestay with him playing around. His favorite pastime was to bite our toes and get inside our rooms. Huh? Jumbo! Jumbo! Jumbo has entered our room. Jumbo? Besides maintaining the property, Bistaji had a lot of passion for animals and birds too. From ducks to turkeys and sheep, everything is well kept and fed here in the homestay campus itself. There were a number of sheep which are regularly fed and periodically shredded for their wool. The effort that goes into the shredding process is also worth noticing and I spent a lot of time recording it.
It was now afternoon and we took a quick lunch before heading towards the Rhododendron Bartse Sanctuary, which has one of its entry points near Chayatal. This sanctuary occupies about 104 square kilometers area in the Singalila range in western Sikkim. It borders Nepal to the west, the state of West Bengal to the south, across the Rabong Kola stream. The Barsa sanctuary can be reached from three points, namely Hilly, Dentam and Soaring. The forest is quiet and surrounded by big trees. Around 1 km inside from the gate, it is quite dense. There is abundance of bird life but we could not picture any as most of them were perching on top of the trees, making it difficult to capture. However, back near the homestay, we did find a great vantage point from where our birding wish was fulfilled. Here in the forest, you must take a walk if you come here to simply get rejuvenated. After spending about 3 hours inside the forest, we came back to the homestay and enjoyed the evening snacks along with hot tea. The night was lit up with some wonderful decorations in the homestay and we enjoyed a quick dinner to sleep early and get up in the morning hoping to see the sunrise on Mount Kanchanjanga. It's early morning from Chayatal and the Kanchinjanga range is absolutely clearly visible from here so it's around 5.45 am and we are waiting for the sunrise, uh, the golden sunrise so this will be interesting, we will have some good photographs I hope, let's see. After spending a wonderful time viewing the spectacular sunrise, it was now time to do some birding. Luckily there were a lot of rhododendron trees around the homestay itself. It was also the month of March and most of the trees were in full bloom. Naturally it will attract a lot of birds who feed on the nectar. So let's enjoy the avian beauties now.
Next, we set off to view the famous Sri Junga statue nearby. It is about 30 minutes walk downhill from the homestay. There is also a lake just beside the complex which is uh, named as Chayatal. The new canopy walk was also being constructed during this time. So now we come to the end of this video but before ending it I will request you to please listen to the last 3 minutes where I am sharing some important information relevant to the time in 2022 when this video was being shot. Hi, I'll just take 2 minutes of your time uh, to say something about homestays in general. If you have already listened to this in some of my other videos then you are welcome to skip this part or move on uh, to the next video well coming back to the main point is that homestays are not hotels please understand this uh, you will not maybe get a geyser here but they will provide you hot water in a tub you may not get a tv you may not get a waiter outside because this is not a hotel nowadays i see many homestays are upgrading to semi hotel like features but still the basic concept of homestays is different from that of hotels over here you are actually living in their home for that one or two nights in which you are staying you become a part of their family almost you get access to their kitchen in many places so it becomes all the more important to show some responsible behavior by responsible behavior i mean not parting into the night or you know not drinking in the open because they give you a room which is adjacent just adjacent to their uh, family room now in their family they have kids who are studying and they you know people in the hills they have to get up early and they go to sleep early because by 4 a.m they are awake and they perform their daily chores so your parting into the night or playing loud music disturbs all that and we don't go there to do that right so my advice to all the tour operators would be that whenever you are booking tours, please make the tourists aware of this kind of situation of what to expect and what not to expect over there and what not to do. I am saying this because of my, you know, out of my own experience of living in various homestays, I have seen homestay owners requesting uh, their guests to shut off the loud music or to please not drink in the open because by seeing all these things, their future generation, the kids, they believe that this is the way of life which is extremely dangerous. I am a birder, I love nature, I get up early at 4 am to see the first rays of light, you know, go out birding to see the sunrise. I am sure many of you would also love to do that but when a tourist group beside your room, you know, keeps parting till 3 am, shout out loud, uh, that disturbs a bit. I am not against this way of life but I am saying that there are other options also you know in proper hill stations uh, there are good hotels where these things won't be an issue but in homestays where there are partitions made of wooden walls even if you s sneeze uh, the sound passes on to the next room mm -hmm. there it creates an issue. I, I just wanted to share this because I felt disturbed in many of the instances and uh, I shared this with many of the homestay owners uh, they also you know they uh, they are bringing up unions now they are also formulating many rules and regulations I'm sure that in the coming days before booking they will also talk to you and uh, express what to expect and what not to expect which is very important I feel so if you have also come across such situations then you are welcome to you know write it in the comment section and share your experiences that's it if you are listening now then thanks for the patience and please spread the word please spread the awareness of this with your fellow tourists or your friends whatever thank you